Hey, it's the Lancer 27 Night, and uh, thanks again for watching this episode of Starfinder. I was playing Starfinder. Uh, to my left this time, we have Krang. Tell us about your character, Krang. Uh, Krang is a mechanic, uh, currently plopped on a clot in the Eoxian MC, and uh, he's a human mechanic who likes to fix stuff. All right, uh, now we have Dylan playing uh, Jonah. Tell us a little about Jonah. Uh, Jonah is a Android mechanic who used to have a career in vid gaming, but thinking that you know, due to the advertising wars, franchise wars of uh, Chick Fil A, and also an Android that was going to just tear him apart, literally, uh, he had to you know cancel his whole vi vid stream video game channel because he thought he was going to die, and now he just doesn't know what to do with life. I mean, you could just take that video down. Hey, this is his backstory. And now <laughs> yeah, we go over what, to... How dare you tell me yeah. his listen, backstory? Listen don't play his character, man. Don't play my character! Son of a bitch. <laughs> what the listen here, we still call me a foreign agent. Alright, so speaking, <laughs> speaking of which... Shame. Speaking of, speaking of Shame. foreign agents... Now, Bail or Corva. Hey, I'm, I'm a foreign agent and a colluder. <laughs> and I played Bail or Corva. Goodly priest of Abadar and healer of the group and... I guess we gotta deliver a box. And now we have David. You, Dave Roy. Roy. <laughs> I'm Triple Decker. She's a Sharon, and she's hopefully not gonna look like a fool in front of the ambassadors. Okay. And so, who wants to catch us up? With what happened last time on Dragon Ball P? We got pulled over. <laughs> All right, we're going on to you. We're going on to Craig. Craig what happened last time? Too much. So last episode. Olive oil. So, we all took a trip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Two of, or some of us went one way, some of us went another. Specifically, I took a motorcycle. They had to travel on the highway. They were pulled over by the police, and the vehicle was searched. And uh, someone may or may not have taken a peek at something they shouldn't have taken a peek at, uh, <clears throat> which is our cargo, which is our delivery to the Oxen Embassy. We are now, at the, this time, at the Oxen Embassy, um, they got. They have just had their vehicle valeted to its valet location, and they're about to meet me in the lobby. And I've had a special time uh, speaking to uh, a secretary that uh, the best secretary. is super good at conversation with its deadest eyes <laughs> and has dead eyes. Yeah, that's why they hired her. Deadest eyes. It's just eye sockets, right? And uh, that, no, that's like, where we're at. We're yeah. at the, the uh, lobby. Okay. Yes. And, uh, Gelbalat. Gelbalat Yes, Gelbalat Knorr. Uh, he is all. He has been made aware of your presence. Gelbalat Knorr has been. He has been made aware of your presence. And if you please take a seat next to your friend, I will have uh, a speaker for him ready in the moment. Thank you. And he sort of. It's. Uh, he, 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 it's I mean, it's in. Yeah. Do these like clots are trusted? <laughs> these clots are comfortable. He just took us over to the, to the couch. Yeah. You also there's like a table there. It's like uh, almost like a like a, it's in the shape of like a clot. Like it, there's a ring of it, and there's like a little like a little break off to the stool, and then there's like a little, another like like half ring and a break off stool. It's a table in the middle. Oh, as is the guy like is he gone or is he still walking away? No, he's like sitting. He like sat. At, the little okay. at one of the little stools that's on the thing. Uh, okay. Oh, because he's walking like, oh, wait, we, it's still in the, the trunk, but... Yeah, no, we sat down well, like, you know, with you guys. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's still in the uh, in the trunk. I don't know if you guys want to bring it over. I know the guy's parking it, but... He's, like, crossed his legs. Wonderful in, in, in your vehicle. Uh, yeah, the... Uh, I, I described the uh, the escape pod with, you know, basically the flying Astro Van. Okay. The 18 Van. The, the flying Ford Windstar. <laughs> if, if, you, if you don't mind, as he sort of, uh, like, oh, points over means. to his, uh, to his, uh, wrist, to his uh, chest communicator, touches it, and he speaks in, not a whisper, but a quieter tone, as if he's not addressing all of you, but he's also not trying to hide it. And he's speaking in Eox. Does anybody speak Eox? Me. Okay. Uh, to the rest of you, it just sounds like a chattering of a <laughs> sounds like that. But to you, you would recognize that through this chattering and ungulation, um, there is a parcel to uh, for the viceroy in the in the trunk. But uh, please 
make sure that it is handled and delivered to my office uh, with care. Give you guys nod like, yeah, yeah, he's he's on it. He's yeah. he's competent. Uh, can I roll a sense motive? I want to know if this guy's yeah, go for it. Exhibiting any signs that he plans to keep this box for himself. Okay. No, this is just trying to look for like a, a plug-in is just a so he plays a good game. There is sense one. motive. There is. Yeah, Garth's actually engaged in the conversation. No, <laughs> not about your phone. <laughs> can he be? Can he use an engineering check to use one of his old batteries <laughs> as a power source so he can play his big game? Yes. Oh, fuck yeah. It's been 20 minutes since last played a game. Okay, that's, that's a four. Okay. No, it's not. It's and what good. size are you looking for? Uh, shiftiness. Uh, fidgetiness. Okay, all of his, um, his various, I hate to use word too much, so I'm not gonna, but all of his body movements and eye contact and all that stuff. It has been very open and expressive and he's shown no signs of being shifty. Even when he was speaking and having that conversation with his communicator, he did so in a voice as if you wouldn't, I wouldn't be projecting as much if I were talking to all of you. Then I would, like, I'll be projecting more of what I'm talking to all of you than I would be if I was speaking you know, on my phone. But I wouldn't like speaking in a whisper. So anyone else in the embassy that would have been walking by would have been able to hear him. He wasn't masking it at all. Yeah, he wasn't. He okay. was just speaking the Eoxist. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate that. All right. Is the two good enough to use my, like, one of my rifle batteries as a <laughs> another source of of energy that we played this play this begin? It'll take nine. It'll take nine minutes. But yeah. Nine minutes to charge it. Yeah. Well, to retrofit your uh, battery. To being able to power your Game Boy Advance. Oh, okay, it's not a Game Boy Advance. It's known as the game class. Yeah, it's a game. I'll Boy keep you in your fucking face. All right. You talking to the Jonah or me? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm in trouble, Dad. All of a sudden, the Eoxine's face just flares, and he's just like, <laughs> "Fuck you!" <laughs> he gets he gets real like he's having a conversation with you, and he's like, <sighs> "Engage in the moment." <laughs> Alright, that's real cool, bro. <laughs> so, you said something? Can you repeat that again? <laughs> what no. the fuck? I'm paying attention. Yeah, no, but... I can do two things at no, once. I really do like that you're doing it. Right yeah. now, there's your point of inspiration on there. Yes. But he's not too excited about yeah, it. Yeah, no, he's probably pissed. You're not working like, alright, it's cool, bro, but I'm playing some Splatoon. <laughs> but, um, uh, so, was there anything anybody else was trying to glean from this? No, I'm too distracted at the moment. Okay. Uh, so, uh, trouble coming in, huh? Yeah, I guess uh, cops are being rascals. Or something. Space Force yeah. 5 trying to stop. What were they us. like? Uh, it was like a Yusaki lady, and then like a real buff guy with some big old sunglasses came and was, uh, was doing his job, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah. But, uh. They give you a ticket or? No, listen, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a priest. They give me a ticket, they're probably going to hell or something. Oh, shoot. Unless they're cast, I think they're doing the right thing. But. <laughs> and they didn't even question me about much. being involved in the franchise uh, <laughs> wars there? No. No? Because we weren't. I mean, we were there. No, we weren't. Because we weren't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so during this time, uh, this uh, emissary to the embassy, he's sort of sitting back like on on the stool, not like leaning back, but like sit back a little more into himself, and he's muttering something, and you can see that the, the nothingness of his eyes is glinting with a familiar glow. The blue that was uh, flaming out of uh, Galvis Nor's eyes are now also in his, and he's been, he's been whispering in Eoxin. Hello, friends. It is wonderful to hear from you all, and I am glad to see that. And he has taken on money the mannerisms of uh, Vice and Or. I am freaking out. This okay. is so cool for her. She's just ah! He's regarding you. Greetings, friends. I am glad to see that you all are back. What information have you uh, gathered from the ownership of the Aceron and the Trift Rock? That... <laughs> it was a very complicated endeavor, but we were able to get what she wanted. Oh yes, fabulous. And I understand from this one here, and the... Uh, well, I understand from this one here that uh, it is awaiting 
transport into its office. Mm -hmm. It's in the van. One one thing to mention: we were, you know, pulled over because of the bombing downtown. Uh, you know, we were just randomly searched. They did they did open the box and look at it. I made sure that they didn't do anything else with it. We didn't see anything in the box, though. Yeah. Unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. And I do get how I, I, it's understandable that Roblox happened. The security footage my drone was able to receive should suffice in telling me the ownership of this rock. And uh, your payment we transferred to each of your accounts in a matter of days. Yeah, I... Is there anything else that I can do for you? Well, what about the, uh... Legal misunderstanding that... That, uh, me and some other companions had on EOX, is that? I have been pulling strings, and... As long as no major crimes are committed during the interim of your leaving Absalom Station and this moment, it will be water under the bridge. All right, good. Yeah, because do, no, do that, you want that? Or do you want? Should we give him the original android to pull the gun? He's still on our ship somewhere, isn't he? Yeah, we, we don't have the ship. Yeah, we do. We have the location. Yeah, we we do have the original android who did pull it. I don't know if that's needed, but he's. I think he's dying or dead. Yeah, android. Yeah, from from the. Uh, yeah. Misunderstanding out uh, at the Eoxiana spaceport. Olaf, nineteen fifty-seven or oh, whatever 14, you call them. 13. I think we well, may have left him with on this Eox ship, or we left him on Absalom Station. All right. Well, we lost the android. Yeah, I know the uh, the issue. That's a very, uh, very complex issue. I th it's kind of a gray area between you know where they don't you know it, it wasn't specified that anything they found like the drift rock would be um you know it would um work you know would be belonging to astral extractions but it's not it's, it's a very legal gray area it's something for their lawyers to probably sell so we weren't we were able to get a full copy of the contract because there were uh, complications hey which was the one that screwed us over the goblin nah i think it was fine uh, what are, we, what are we talking about here? What happened on the Acer? Who does the Android work for? Yeah, we. I don't. I don't know. We. Android. Yeah, there was a an Android uh, who was hounding us for a while when we started looking into this before you were asking us about it. Um, I just sort of pull out of my my jacket pocket. I pull out Potter faceplate and sort of put it on the table. I mean, he just sort of looks to it. He looks back at. I mean, I know it's nothing to really go off of, but. You just wanted to see what you put on there, really. Yeah. Like, as if you were to put on, like, a potato on there, like, I found this, I found this potato, Irishman. <laughs> well, not Irishman. I found, I found this potato. Uh, I can't say African because they're hungry. Um, <laughs> guy. Uh, you. You would be like. What? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be that way. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm looking at it. Yeah. But he looks at it just as if you yeah. need mundane object. Interesting. I don't recognize it. However, she did complicate issues mm. on the Acer on. What other information do to ascertain on the Acer on? Any yeah. the shadow dogs? Yeah. Yeah, there were those. There were weird uh, shadow, shadow dogs. dogs. Um, I'll and your sickness now. They had sieged the ship, and some of the crew had hid, and they turned aggressive when they when we found them. One of them was killed in the crossfire between the android and, and us, and the other turned on us when we were trying to ascertain what what was going on. And uh, eventually, even when we tried to calm down the situation, it was too far gone. We, he ended up destroying the, the, the entirety of the Acheron on his own. We, we ended up uh, having to scuttle the, the ship. We barely made it out with our lives. What ship was scuttled? The Acheron. Mm. Our own Is ship was scuttled as well. Any more data that was received on the Acheron outside of well, I, I, video? I grabbed a lot of the information from the ship. I have it on my, my personal computer. Can I have it? 
Absolutely. You set us on this mission. I imagine this was part of it. Great, great, great. Now it'll take a day or so to go pile through this. For now, enjoy the Odyssey. And it sounds like you all need some assistance getting back to the station, correct? Yeah, we'll probably charter a ship. We're not the best crew. I'll have it. Oh, thank no, you. We, You're too we, kind. We have a way back. Yes, we do. Mm. I, w- I don't want to go another ship. Let's just take a which, space bus. <laughs> it's safer. Which other <laughs> ship? Every the time Android we go in space, we get attacked. It isn't alive anymore. Yeah, and we... Oh, when we... A ship. You know, her ship was left there, so we may actually have our own way back. Well, we got a space bus. Well, listen, we'll... You're, you're, listen, we'll take that under advisement. You're very kind, Galfrick Snore. I sincerely thank you. He gives you all a knowing nod. And, uh... He's... The, 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 the lights, the flames of his eyes, they dim down quiet once more, and without like a shudder or a junt, in a seamless flow, the emissary of the embassy, uh, he addresses you all again. Great, now that all of that was handled, uh, is there anything else this one can do for all of you? Can I have that cool power? Oh, uh, what? Cool. Just let him live in my body? Cool glowing blue eyes. Well, that is, uh, it can be learned uh, if you travel to Eox. Um, it, it, sure, I. Like, I don't have to be a special part of, like, an inner circle or anything. I, just, like, I just show up, like, can I have this? Well, you, you probably have to pay somebody, but. Really? I just have to pay someone? I can have the just ambassadors live inside me? <laughs> Well, okay, so Let me tell you how it works, all right? You have to be attuned to someone. Uh-oh. He sort of takes you off the side to have them speak through you, as if you wanted Baylor to speak through you. You would need to know the spell and attune yourself to Baylor. It's not a difficult process, but you can't just have ambassadors live in you. That's not how it works. It's not like, a, it's not like an ambassador power. But it is. He's <laughs> 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 candidly with like that too. But it is a, an amazing skill for a receptionist, is it not? Yeah, it's why I have it. I look at Baylor, <laughs> and I look at myself, and I think. <laughs> and I look at my girl. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, it's been a long day. Baylor's very hungry. He never got his lunch either. He's gonna go and uh, go Check to his ducks. <laughs> He's gonna go to one of the rest surrounding restaurants. Hopefully, no! No, no big adventure will happen. He'll just get his food, go back up to his room. He's Waffle House. Is there, oh, <laughs> is there food accommodations with our room? Yeah, yeah. We could just get food here. Yes. I don't, I don't want to be that guy. He's like, listen, I know you let me here, but give me food for free. Yeah, it's like most hotels is like a mini bar. Like. Mini bar, Wilson. I know he's got paid. But... <laughs> Listen, how rich do you think I am? Also, you can order up to your room if you want. Eating for ordering room service. No, it's like uh, how you can order to your room now with uh, your smartphone. Mm-hmm. Well, so I'll. I'll... I'm gonna you can test yourself against the gauntlet of the Waffle House. You hear various crips go in. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna crips from a crypt. Oh no! I'm gonna oh, see geez. if there's any restaurant that I can just go there, get some food to go, and take it up to my room and eat it and go to sleep. Yeah, it's Waffle House. <laughs> All right, I guess. Do they have it to go? Yeah, they do. Dude, Dude body you're bag. taking a big <laughs> risk. I'm going up to the room. There's like a really like nervous guy up front. Just. <laughs> And like a few a few, a few feet from him, there is like a uh, there's like an like you know those massive tablets they have in Mickey now. Yeah. Where you just order it and you know, there's like one of those as well. <laughs> I, I'll just order something and. Okay. He looks to you when you're ordering it. He's <laughs> just ready for you to shoot him. Or and uh, as soon as you order, he ducks. <laughs> Shit. And he darts and he darts inside. You hear just various screaming and howling, and uh, this this sounds of Michael Jackson's thriller going on, but the bad Michael Jackson. Uh, he quickly grabs your order. He rushes up, and uh, as soon as the door slides open, he gets, gives you your food. He looks to you for a second. 
Are you okay? <laughs> Turn this kid. The money. Yeah, I'll just pay. Snatches it from me real quick. Does it and gives it back. Get out of here. Get out of here. What's the application? Get out of here. All right, bye. I walk out. Okay. And he's just, just, like, just back, back there still. Room. He's like ducked away back into like a little hallway. There's sort of like a little crevice that he's been like in again. And that's it. That's the Waffle House. Why did <laughs> anyone work there? He's they have a great dental plan. Yeah, so I'm gonna get my food and go up to my room and then take a bail or sleep because he's had a big day. Okay, you can all have the benefits of a long rest. If you're also doing things like ordering food and various things like that, deduct three credits from your total. I thought we, uh, I do that as well, but the whole... I thought we grabbed like 20 days of rations or something. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like kind of like how, you know, like I have a whole stack of top common MREs in my cupboard, but... I'd rather not eat Top Common every day. Look, I'm not calling it Top Common now, by the way. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So health players. points don't increase on long rest, right? <laughs> they do. <laughs> Eight. What is it? It, um, it recovers at a rate of one per day and two for every, uh, tw uh, I think, eight hours of just kind of not doing not. That rule, it may be different, but that's what I just kind of remember offhand. Or... If you want to know, yeah. yeah. If you want to know more, you can check out our videos, such as what is healing and what is resting, and what is this sham of a life I drag myself through every day. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll just say it's at that rate for right now. You can also, um, do you have any use of like a, uh, like a like magical healing or just Baylor? But so for long rest, it would be just a max of sixteen health you recover. Yeah. And then whatever, how many hours are in the day, so 24? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I was actually thinking of, that's different. That's actually are the uh, how to uh, ability drain and ability damage. This is another video. Oh, right. Synergy. But, no, it's, um, what were you saying? Because I'm going to say that you can, how many, how, how much are you down right now? Um, 22 out of 41. If you want, I can look it up. It's not a big deal. Oh, okay. I was just curious. Listen, I'm the healer. Yeah, so I'm gonna before I go to my room to do my bailer sleep, I go and check on everyone. I'm like, hey, Jonah, are you okay? Um, I I I have just a bit of a scratch here or there. You got a game I can play? You got any healing? Do you need any healing? Like, are you like actually wounded? I'm wounded a bit, but I will wait for All the right. other well, uh, to be healed first. I mean, I'm already here, so, uh, whoop -ha! <laughs> I just love it. He's like, I'm not coming back for you, Josh. I only see you once at night. That's it. Good night, sir. As you are healed for... Have pleasant dreams. And then as he puts on the gauze, he's here, but... As you're you healed for eight, and I'm like, also, and then I cast mending on your clothes. Also, are you okay, Jonah? You seem real weird. Well, sir, he kind of... As you would kind of hear, um, you know, like, Bishopville cards, like, Boots and Bob, I'm going, I'm going to get you. You hear the game just kind of turn up. He just sounds like, well, the same android lady who tried to literally rip me for parts, tried to kill us again, and I thought I was going to die. So, probably thought it'd be to shut down my, you know, my livelihood of, you know, vid video, uh, vid game, you know, channel. And, uh. Obviously, we didn't die, so oh, it's kind of a you, uh, bit of a survival skill. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, couldn't you just make another one? But then my credibility, not only as a creative, but as a gamer, would go down the drain. Did you delete all your videos, or did you just say make a buy everyone video? It's a buy everyone, so I'll get whenever revenue comes from that, but otherwise... What if you just delete it or say, make a, hey, we survived video? Yeah, but my credibility would be destroyed. Hey, listen... Think my career isn't taking a few knocks. I mean, I've, I've checked some of my emails and uh, let's say Avatar protects, but ooh, -wee, I'm gonna have to do some overtime once uh, once we get back to Absalom Station. Listen, there's gonna be setbacks. I put my hand on your shoulder, but you're gonna be okay, Jonah. Just uh, just be strong, believe in yourself. That and cha uh, that channel was the only thing I had okay, well, of my humanity. You can restart it, um, or you can just uh, keep making videos, but also. Listen, you got this. Right. Abadar never burdens us 
More than like, look at me. Remember how I had worms? I haven't been bothered by worms for a while because uh, you. Just... Wait, wait, sure. You have worms. Oh yeah, I had thing. Worms are eating my soul, and so mm. yeah, that's fine. But uh, listen, you got this. You're gonna get better. Healing and hit points right there. And then before he starts the door, he says, "Yeah, but can it heal back lost humanity?" And then the door shuts, and you hear the loud sound like. Alright, I have an architect, and I do the same thing to uh, triple deck, because... You go blind? No, I don't, I, I go, uh... Because you're sick. I go, uh... What? Triple decker, hey, triple decker, you hurt? I'm gonna go to yeah. bed soon, because I'm tired. How bad you hurt? Pretty. Pretty bad? Yeah. Alright, well, uh... You know what they say. Kabam! Well, open wide, because... Oh. The Lord here. I open my mouth. For that something. doesn't sound pleasing. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasing at all. Heal for twenty health. Woo! Yeah, that doesn't uh, sound pleasing. And then the I just come. And then I just. So uh, and then I just I cast many on your clothes, so we're not like just like shrapnel boys. Thanks. Hey, you want me to have that cool power where you can just inhabit my body? <laughs> what? <laughs> Think of how much better of a receptionist I'd be for you. <laughs> Your 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 fine is is uh, also that'd be weird. Uh, but then you could live in my eyes. But I live in my eyes already. Are you okay? Did you to... not see what we just saw that miracle downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> that was real spooky. Whatever that was. And you could have that power in me. Listen, in me. We already have this power called. Uh, it's like pull up my. Uh, <laughs> so it's like we can do this and also triple decker. Listen, uh, you're got a level head on your shoulders. You seem kind of tired, but I trust you to speak for me. Are you okay? It seems like after Flavor died, and you're also the whole thing with a wife. What's with that? <laughs> oh, she's alive somewhere. I'll find her one day. But you can live in my body. <laughs> Come on now. You know, I'm not. My to... eyes could light up. You could live in there, and I could. Yeah, and you can call me this one. <laughs> and she really emphasized. You can call me this one. You can oh. say things like, this one has already told me everything I need to know, and I won't say anything because you're in my body, in my mind, and I'm just inside. I don't know. What was that thing thinking? I don't know. I can know this. <laughs> All you gotta do. I'm gonna make a cult shift. See, this is typical Yox, like, if it's kind of like how uh, in China, if you eat, like, fox meat, it's okay. Do foxes could meet people or like something like that. But like here it's like, ew, gross, you eat foxes. I'm, I'm gonna see if this kind of thing would have people live inside your eyes is typical Yoxian culture. It's not good, but it's average. No. So culture check, that's gonna be a 17. Um well, what would he know about you? Or you know like, is this common Eoxian or are you just trying yeah, to Yeah, like is this like an Eoxian thing or Sorta? I'm gonna let you act six zero for me, I'm gonna let you decide. I want but... Uh... Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's what you do if you idolize your master. What? <laughs> oh! That sounds weird. So, yes to that. I don't know. Also, okay, so you just I'm want gonna, me to... Yeah, go for okay. it. I don't know. So... Ready. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Okay. So... Eox, it is... The Eox culture, it is tightly uh, wound with... Uh, tightly bound to magic. And especially magic and uh, like undead, uh, controlling the undead, things like that. And so somebody like who has taken up magic as part of who they are, which murder hobos, uh, technomancers, mystics, people like that who really uh, infuse themselves with magic, they would be very interested in learning more. And this seems very closely known. This seems very close with undeath, so kind of. It's almost like uh, you know how you're like an America gun boy. Yeah. It's kind of like if a new kind of a uh, if a new AR were coming out, and it were it, it were somehow better, but also less expensive than what you <coughs> than what you currently got going on. <laughs> if you like that, and if you're like an act like a, a real big gun nut. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would say you know what I'll uh, think about the triple deck, but you you have a good night. I will. And uh, then I go, Krang. Like, hey, Krang, you hey. okay after the battle? Did you get shot? I did get shot, but I think it's enough that I'll recover. You really got a little, little, little baby booze? Well, I mean, most of my stamina was gone, but I got most of my health. All right, well, I'm, uh, I'm all right. Here, I'm going to top you off. Well, bam! <laughs> so, nine. 
I like to imagine you're just punching us with health. <laughs> well, yeah, like like faith. Just I am. Like, oh, you were like, we got the like, demon. Oh. <laughs> Falcon. Oh, it's on the trailer, so I don't feel so bad. Your phone's charged, and your phone's charged, and your phone's charged. Or, uh, oh, see, yeah, I was one of those, like, faith things, like, be gone, demon! Oh. It's like, this lady has a problem where she has uh, one hand is slightly longer. Oh my gosh, it's growing! And then I go, whoop And oh. then, also, I go, woo, to, like, clean your, to, like, fix your clothes with mending, because... I don't want to look like we all just like went through like a trap. I did. I did literally get shot, so you know yeah. that does help. Right, thank wow. you. All right. Well, uh, yeah. you okay? Yeah. So, I mean, we gotta make plans for getting out of here. Well, and, listen. And I hate taking shuttles. I want our own ship. Okay, but we're bad at that. Like we are so bad at flying our own. Right. Like triple, she can fly the ship, but everything else, it almost goes tits up. Right. We're trying to pilot our own what ship. What if we get that robot ship and we just sell it? I mean, think about the money, man. As as a fellow follower of Abadar, <laughs> <laughs> come on, wouldn't you be interested in the resale value? I mean. I'm kind of interested in the mechanical aspects, but you got to be interested in just the resale value alone. Oh, I and it's I mean, we we so have three much. vehicles right now that like have monetary value. Where's the third one? We have the the 18 van. We have yeah, yes. my bike, and and we have that ship. Oh, I thought you were talking about our land. I'm talking about the I'm talking about the robot ship lady. I mean, yeah, we could find that maybe salvage a lot, but. We could split the cost of that. All we have to do is get it back to Absalom. And you know that if that thing has a drift engine, we're a day away from Absalom Station. That's like straight there, straight shot. Ooh. We're not likely to run I into any trouble not on the be way. In the red. <laughs> <laughs> we're not likely to find any trouble on the way back to Absalom Station than we are to travel away from Absalom Station with the way the drift works. Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, wait, wait, you're about money. <laughs> Listen, I well, may or may not be turn. having a dream sequence. That's the kind of wet dreams I have. <laughs> like, ah! Oh, God, what like is the, that? Uh, it may be having dreams, much like the uh, when Squidward's having dreams of the Krabby Patty where he marries it, oh, has God. sex with it, has children <laughs> grows old it, but with a big bag of credits. <laughs> where it's like, oh. Well, they'd be UBPs. Because yeah. no. credits is just like a little credit card. Like. Yeah, but you can get like, a, you can get, like individual ones like in case you want to be real opulent just like throw a bunch, a handful at a stripper. You can be like, sure, I guess you'd be throwing, you'd be, you'd be throwing rice at a stripper. Yeah, so you just, that's like a big bag of credit quarters. It's like, <laughs> or just like a big, uh, big credit shit that I'm gonna marry. But I mean, eat, eat and then go to sleep and heal myself and mend my clothes because I have a big day. I've been wearing the suit for months, <laughs> just cleaning this one suit, not bathing or taking it off. By the way, Baylor, how are you doing? I mean, you weren't doing so good a while back. There's I, a lot of oohies coming out of you. I don't think those worms are gonna eat my soul anymore. Really? Oh yeah, because what I'm, did you do? Prayed <laughs> very hard. <laughs> they they went away. Listen, the Lord doesn't burden you with more than we can handle. Okay, He tests us. Okay, and we've come out the other side stronger for it. And I thank Him for that pain. And I'm now we have a, better credit. I'm just a little concerned for you, bro. I mean, you've been exhibiting some really weird behavior. Hey, listen, <laughs> Abadar protects. It's all you need to know. <laughs> You just gotta believe and not be a heretic or a communist. Okay, well, I just, you know. Hey, listen. As a productive member of this team, I just wanna be carrying my weight, and that means shouldering some of your burdens, right? Hey, listen, we're gonna. We're gonna be alright, but I've gotta. Gotta take a poop. Alright, coolsies. So, you're all able to take a rest. Um, what, are, what is each of you doing during your rest act? And you have. He told you oh, about a day. Too. Okay, so. I'm gonna do my normal sleeps. But I'm also going to uh, talk to... No, I'm going to access Karen's database and uh, find out more about the ship that they were on, whatever scans she had from there, from her logs. Okay. And I'm going to pull that from her hard drives. She, uh, okay. So I, I, she wheels over to you. You can hear the uh, the newly re uh, the, the newly restocked. Are you all in room five, by the way? Yes. Yeah. You probably, I am. 
You poor doomed fools. What, we didn't so, get our own, own rooms? I mean, they gave you a free hotel. Do you want to pay for next room? I guess one big bed. <laughs> I think. Hey, that's that other group. We don't talk he about He said, that. no, when he gave me the room key, he said, this is a room that will accommodate two five. I don't know if it's one big bed, but what I assumed was it was a suite with five yeah. individual oh. beds or yeah. whatever. Well, he'd be correct. Thank you. Yeah. It's not five different rooms, but what it is, it's like, it's... Think of just like a like a days in, right? Okay. And then there's like a separate like there's like the main sort of room where everything happens. There is a f like three different poop pods, like pooping stations. Like think of like a three fourth bath. Okay. And then there is like basically a rack of beds, like uh like that look like a like a spinal like a spinal column mm. that has like a ladder. So five there's six bunk beds, but <laughs> gotcha. you kind of knew. And they're like, the bunk beds are set in like cavities where a kidney would sit. <laughs> Beautiful decor, guys. You should yeah. appreciate it more. The yeah. beds are shaped like actual kidneys and smell like them, too. <laughs> just Yikes like them. Is a little, just a little bit like urine and blood. <laughs> yeah, and delicious. Dude, organs good meat. Yep. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so, so. Karen. Yeah? Sorry. I was just trying to get you back on track. No, that's what Karen says to you. Oh. She says, yeah. Karen, I'm accessing your files now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I knew you'd like that. Why do you make noises? I man? knew you'd like that. <laughs> All right, girl, let's see what you got. Giving you a hard time. As she moves over, you can hear the newly restocked cans of a tab sort of like clang over inside of her and slosh for a bit. Karen, you're, you sound like uh, you've been uh, refueled. Yeah, I'm pretty glad about it. Yeah, your logs say that you're, you are you are. Stock full. Yeah, it's where'd you get that? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> oh, logs say that you picked them up in the parking lot. I found it. Board. I found it at a place. Look, I don't worry about it. I'm just gonna delete <laughs> these records, and those came from a legitimate source. Yes, yeah, we bought them. <laughs> so I beat that. Group. I know. <laughs> I know, Karen. You did buy them. That's what your logs say. So out of curiosity, uh, what would I have? So since I'm playing a big game, fighting uh, Bill Cosby, um, but since Tab has been. What kind of role would I have to make just to? I have one in my head. Okay, and what role do I need to make? Um, it would be perception. Just or perception. <laughs> <laughs> just to yes, hear the slightest mention of the word tab. Have religion. Um, I'm just gonna use perception because that's just my. Thing. I also didn't say the word tab. You did say tab. No, he, he said it. tab. He knows what I that said I like. heard yeah. sloshing. <laughs> like, if you said, like, so, if you, if you, if you the eyes. only thing that you can hear, because I didn't say tab, yeah, I just said you're, you're full. I said your your stores and have been replenished. And to me, the only thing I know she's been full of this whole time is tab. No, but here's the thing. If, like, you close your eyes and plug your nose, if you, um, if somebody, like, if somebody shakes a can of tab next to one ear and a can of, like, RC Cola in the other, you know this time is bullshit. Yeah, you know this exactly. Time. So, <laughs> no, okay. 26, is that enough? It is. So, <laughs> as I hear the sweet, as I'm fighting Bill Cosby as a word, I'm like, get, get out of my beat, get my ass, and I'm like, oh, come on, he's so bull. I hear that one of those sounds of, <laughs> <laughs> and then, what well, you're fighting Cosby, you're fighting the final stage. Yeah, and then, uh, and I have the upper hand, too, and then my Cosby. AI is like, what's wrong, Jonah? Can you hear it? <laughs> no, I mean, your head, silly. I mean... I hear you playing a game. No. Listen. He just kind of takes off the, the game thing without like saving it or pausing it. Oh, There's man. a warning saying like, this data may be corrupted with your file. He puts it down and he kind of walks over to Kevin and uh, kind of just gets his little credit card, his credit thing, kind of puts it in and then with hands shaking going, oh. it makes like a loud sort of heavy thunk as the can Falls down into the receiving bay. The can sloshes, and you can. And uh, it's like a heavy can of tab. However, well, are you are you uh, do you have a perception as a skill that you are uh, yes. proficient in? Yes. Okay. When you did take off the VR goggles, yeah. you did see that uh, Cosby did fire off uh, one of the Cosby wraiths. The three of them. <laughs> yep. Two of them did fire off to uh, to. Purple beams at you, and your character did fall asleep. Oh no! So as you're trading one addiction for another, um, this this ice cold can—it's like sweating with perspiration. 
it's a hot summer's day. It, it's 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 warm and uh, like cool to the touch. And as he kind of has that touch, he kind of gets weird, vivid visions of a, a barn, um, <laughs> running around the fields with other little kids, <laughs> uh, working on the tractor. Literally, and it's sponsor uh, us. <laughs> <laughs> and what looks to be like some other kid that kind of reminds him maybe of him at some point yeah. as he touches that cab and, and just this is a commercial what is tab come on we love you and he, and he just holds it over here. um just drinks it and then he's like I am whole once again <laughs> You feel in your heart that there is in my cybernetics. You feel in your heart and your cybernetics that there is something that was missing that has now become just part of you again. And you can add a plus, like a, increase your wisdom by two. Oh boy! Like in total, like yeah. ultimately. Yeah. So, oh, so okay. just the score, not the modifier. The modifier increases, well as well as anything else that you would use to benefit wisdom, as part of your soul has been reconnected to a um, to a higher being of yourself, which is Tab. <laughs> you did it. And you won the game. <laughs> you got Tab. <laughs> and then, as that he just kind of kind of steps out of the room. <laughs> Holding the cat up going, Yeah! I love it. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> and Kev. as I cough to death. Kev's, Kev's not really actually good for you. I know, but so yeah. Learned. This is an android. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <a> robot coughing. <laughs> Alright. Have that strong. <laughs> so, uh. But that's smooth. And then, now that that's been taken care yeah, of. Yeah. And, and then after that, he just throws. The can away and just goes in for another. <laughs> oh, for another and, tab or for another? Yeah, and then he just kind of sits in the corner and just um, nursing the second one. Okay. I like it. Each sip feels like a day given back to you. Anywho, okay, what, so what, what was Craig doing? What? Was, Craig was doing something. You just yeah, started, Craig yeah. was doing Craig something. Craig just like, just shitting on my parade here. And, <laughs> yes, but hey. okay, so Karen ignored literally all of that. Like, it was yeah. just secondary systems. All right, just give me your money. It's fine. And deduct two credits from you. And now she does. All, she does still tell you uh, the ship. It seemed to the ship was. Uh, it seemed like a like a modified Cathosan vessel. Hey, you rascals! Thank you for watching our video. Click here to subscribe. Click here to watch one of our newer videos. And click here if you feel like watching something random. Have a good day.